Hello everyone, it's John and today's video vlog is about Naval War. An absolute cracker of a card game from Avalon Hill. And this was produced, I believe, in 1983. And this was one of the filler games. And I'll, look, I'm going to talk about that within the video itself, but it is by far one of my favourite filler games that we, I think, flogged almost to death. Certainly not to death, but we certainly flogged a lot of games of playing this in the day, as uh, my poor cards can attest, because I've now gone and sleeved them to give them a little more life, because they're starting to get a little bit sad and sorry. Yes. But look, if you have not been able... look. All I can say is grab yourself a copy of this if you can, because it is a really, really good game. I love it. So, uh, oh God, my phones are dinging everywhere. But anyway, grab yourself a copy if you can, and let's go have a look at what's in there. And hopefully in the second half of this video, I'll have something far more positive and productive to tell you. Here is one of my... I guess one of my favourite naval games from Avalon Hill. And the reason why I love it is that it is just really a beer and pretzel game. And uh, this game was produced in 1983. And this was one of our filler games that we used to have when the lads used to come around uh, to uh, my parents' place. And uh, they would... Well, my mother would feed them, believe it or not, yes. And uh, we would play this game to fill time. And it is as simple. It really is. Look, honestly, how many pages is it? It's, uh, well, can't even say. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe seven pages in length of rules. But essentially, what you will have is that you will draw a number of ships and there are destroyers there are ships and the ships will have a particular caliber and you will need to draw ammunition that will fit the caliber of gun that your ship is capable of firing it has to be exactly that caliber and it will then do the damage that will be inflicted on a ship that you choose to shoot and there's smoke so um, you can hide behind smoke and uh, in which case it says here that only submarines will be able to uh, to hit people and then you've got minesweepers and you've got minefields and you've got submarines and you've got torpedo boats and then you've got cards oh, cards torpedo boats and additional ships and damage and basically it's the last fleet that is floating is the winner and it's just a really really it's a fun game it really is it's look it's not highbrow it's um you know you have your fleet and you've got all sorts of you know you can you can divide the the uh, the ships up there's the japanese so you've got japanese you've got um obviously the united states you've got britain uh, i think the italians are in here um and obviously the Germans, yeah, Italy's there. I think there might even be a couple of French ships. I'm not too sure. I can't remember. Well, maybe there's not. But So you've got all sorts of things. And, of course, there's 11-inch guns. So it's, you know, obviously the ships have got different size guns for some. But, you know, they're basically saying that these are the sort of, you know, the calibre of ammunition that you're, that you're specifically looking for. And... Uh, what you will be looking for then is that you will then do additional damage. So you will find that um, 
you can get an additional ship you can repair there's minesweepers and then you'll find that in this case here if you draw a salvo doing you'll need so you've got a 14 inch shell it does one damage which is what you're looking for the so the salvo sorry so these are the salvos in this case here obviously an 18 inch gun it's going to do three damage so obviously an 18 inch gun's going to do a fair bit of damage when it hits where a 14 inch is only going to do one so obviously the bigger the ships the the more damage that they can that they can generally do 18 inch maybe in this case here it only does two damage so it is a really simple it's a simple little beer and pretzel game doesn't take long to play and um, I've had hours of fun playing this with my friends so look there you go that is naval war it's from Avalon Hill if you can find it still I don't know if they ever did a reprint and I'm quite sure somebody who watches this will probably tell me if they have I never do my homework I just run with what I've got on my shelf uh, if you can get it get it it's a lot of fun so till next time signing off the honorable john